Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. Up here on the roof of my house, and I'm doing a little bit of work on my solar air heat panels. So these panels actually heat my house. The hot air from the panels gets pulled down those two four-inch ducts and blown into the house with a centrifugal fan. And, oh, probably six weeks ago or so, I cleaned the... Uh, face of the panels, the clear plastic, with some uh, Murphy's oil soap and baking soda mix. And I'll put a link to that video up here in the upper right corner where I showed you how to do that. And that works really well. You can actually see the inside. You know, there's the, the air duct in there. And then there's the hot air panel or the heating panel. There's a metal sheet in there that collects the heat. And then the air is uh, flows over the outside and then behind that sheet. So yeah, there's the two intakes there. There's a couple of 12-volt fans that blow air in. And then it goes into the bottom panel, flows across. That's the one we were looking at there. Comes over through this U-bend and then gets pulled back over there and then out through those two ducts that go down below there. But uh, when I first built these, I used to have some reflectix insulation stapled across here. And you can see a little remnant of that, but I think the wind and the sun got to it a little bit. It doesn't get much sun back here, only in the, the very summer where the sun will come in a little bit. But I think it was mainly the wind that was flapping that sheet around because I only had it anchored here at the top and the bottom. So I'm thinking of going back to the Reflectix, except this time I want to stick it right to the back side of this sheet metal so that it's inside and a little bit better supported. So I think that'll last a little bit better. So I'm going to bring up some uh, pre-cut sheets of Reflectix and we'll We'll see if we can get that fit in here. I just have to fit the that end around those pipes and then this end over here around these pipes. I got the end piece cut. Both ends are the same. So I went on this end since it's a little easier to get to and marked where the uh, duct openings are. And then my technique is I started over at that end, got the end piece in and then worked my way over two full sheets here and then I have this support board in the middle and what I'm going to do is use that to overlap the last two pieces so I worked up to the middle now I'm getting ready to go over here and come back this way and then I'll meet in the middle there and then just run a couple of staples in there to hold the the ends to the support board and that way I don't have to worry about matching seams up perfectly across the full length. So I'm going to get over here and we'll try that side. Okay, I think we got her done. I got all six sheets of Reflectix. I used some aluminum duct tape on all the seams. And I even went across the top there to stick the ends of the sheet to the sides of the heat panels. So I think that's going to work pretty good. And it's really tight working down in, in with all the piping down there, but I think this will hold up, hopefully with this being uh, attached directly to the panels, it won't flap around in the wind as much. But we get a lot of winds from the north, which is blowing in like this direction here, and you get a cold wind blowing onto the back side of the panels, and that pulls all the heat that's coming out of the front side on the south. So this is mainly to keep the wind from uh, stealing too much heat. So on a sunny, windy day, this should help. On a mild, overcast day, it's not going to do a lot. But uh, hopefully on, on those cold, sunny, windy days, which we tend to get a lot of, uh, like around here in the afternoon, the wind will pick up and that's the peak heating time is in the afternoon when you have the sun coming up over over here you also lose the most because you got the the wind hitting the backs yeah a little bit of maintenance on these that's a 
first time I've had to do anything on the back side since I put these up, I think in about 2010, 2011. Yeah, I had to do a little bit. I restained the, uh, the wood. It was getting a little bit uh, weathered. And then I've replaced all the insulation on the back side. And yeah, all of the duct insulation is holding up for now. I got the two 12 volt fans. Those are powered off of solar. And there's uh, two bimetallic switches, thermostat switches in each panel. Those are wired in parallel. So if either switch closes, they close about 100 Fahrenheit and then they open about 70 Fahrenheit. So as long as the air flowing through here is higher than 70 Fahrenheit, the fans are turned on and all of the electricity for running those fans and then also the big fan down below is generated with solar panels and those guys are right there are the solar panels and then right here is the hot air panel the sun heats the air in here and then it hits those things there converted to electricity and that's what's powering those fans so right here you've got hot air and something to move the hot air with so that's my full home heating system this will be probably the seventh winter i've been using this and it uh yeah it's working pretty well it hasn't blown away but yeah everything's working yeah, if you i'll put a couple of links to some other videos about the uh, hot air system up here and if you have any questions, post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.